fit for the job. Take a look. Let's go lick, lick the world. For Muslim, for we cheer for Muslim athletes like Kareem Al and 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 Joan Shengang. I'm going to pass for Shanga Koawa. Ban on transgender Americans, transgender Americans. Mr. President, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very oh, much. I appreciate it's great it. to have you. It's thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. It's a very exciting day around here. Um, we'll have reaction. I met alone with him, just he and I, and a simultaneous interpreter 68 times, 68 hours, 68 times, more than 68 hours. All right. God save the queen, man. Thank you very much, Mr. President. We really appreciate it, and we love you. Thank you. I might add, if I didn't, I'd be sleeping alone. <laughs> that's explain. I better explain that. Some don't know what I'm talking about. My wife's a Philly girl. <laughs> All right, where are we going? Well, we're going to end and we're going to help. We have plans to build a railroad from the Pacific all the way across the Indian Ocean. By the way, I met with, uh, who are those guys that fly over shortly? You heard of them, haven't you? Okay. Do you believe that he is physically, mentally, cognitively strong enough to lead our country? This world is a dangerous place. Robert F. Kennedy Jr., uh, Robert Kennedy Jr., you know that this is a dangerous place. Is he cognitively strong enough to be your president? Well, he's never been very good with words. <laughs> You know, all right, you get an A-plus for that answer. Is he, is he up to the job? I, first of all, let me ask, how many of you here think he is not up to the job? Let me hear. 